Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Today, I'm going to be talking about why I need to go to Ban Island slash bag shopping ban. Um, and also what bags I'm going to have to try and resist this year because I feel like there's going to be a lot of cool things coming out. So if you enjoy handbag videos slash, you know, watching a shopping addict like me, please like and subscribe to my channel. You'll really like super enjoy it big. Um, I have like 30 or so designer handbags now, which I would have never, never thought I would collect that much by this age. And it's really excessive to be honest. Um, and so I kind of need to go on bag ban probably this year. Um, I might buy one or two bags, I'm not going to lie, but yeah. Today I'm going to be talking about bags that I am thinking about, which I might resist. So the first bag is the Chanel 19. Now I love the Chanel 19 because I feel like it's a modernized version of the classic flap. You know, there are a lot of things about the classic flap that people don't like, that it's, you know, quite structured, it's got the double flap, you can't crossbody it. But the Chanel 19, you know, it looks cool with street style outfits, it's very soft, it's got the crossbody, and I really love the mixed hardware on it and the thick kind of chains. Kind of reminds me of the vintage Duma backpack, which I love that bag. Um, so if I was going to get a 19 bag, I would probably get a black one. It would just add something really cool to my collection, I think. And yeah, it's $8,000, guys. So that is a reason why I don't know if I'd want to invest more money into my bag collection. As I said, I already have too many bags. So yeah. And also, guys, it's hard to know if the Chanel 19 is going to retain value as much as, say, a classic flap. I would almost be tempted to purchase another classic flap, even though I already have three. I have a, whoa, a small one, which I, you know, I purchased in 2020. And I have these two as well, two mediums. I think that the value of these, I don't know, I think that will keep going up. So I almost feel inclined to buy another one this year, but the Chanel 19 is just really cool. So that is on my radar. Number two is something from the Loewe Totoro collection. Now this has not been released yet. I think I want to make a video about this collab tomorrow. But My Neighbor Totoro is just a really cute movie. I think Totoro is just such a recognisable and iconic character from the Studio Ghibli, you know, movies. And I think the that Totoro and Loewe them collabing together just it really works they marry really nicely together and I do have one piece from Loewe which is my Loewe strawberry charm I have in the past owned a pink medium puzzle bag which I purchased pre-owned and then I sold later only because I wanted to buy I think some other bags and I really miss the puzzle bag I think it was really cool and when I saw the soot monster kind of um tan puzzle bag it's really cute guys like if I had unlimited money, I would 100% buy that. Or I would buy any of the other bags with like little Totoro's face on it. There's some little Scoopy ones, which are really cute. Um, and so I just think this collection is really nice. I think it would speak to a lot of people. The resale value of it, you know, down the line might not be as good as, say, something from Louis Vuitton or Chanel, but it's just a really sweet collection and I really love it. I don't and I'm gonna have to try and resist it is what I'm trying to say so yeah really cute collab I think it's gonna you know bring Loewe back to the forefront in fashion I mean I feel like they haven't bought out anything like super hyped in a while and I feel like this is gonna be one of those collections that is next is the Doraemon Gucci collaboration now another limited edition collection Gucci really does not hold its value as well so that's another thing I don't know if I'd want to part you know, over a thousand dollars for something from Gucci. I'd rather much put it towards like a classic flap or a 19 bag. But I really love the Doraemon bucket bag. I think that is a really sweet little, little, it's cute guys. It would be a really casual piece to wear. I don't think it's better though than like any of my other bags that I already have. So it's something that I have to tell myself that I don't really need. I've already got really nice bags that I just don't need to add more of these novelty pieces to my collection at this stage. Um, 
if I'm gonna blow it, I think I'd blow it on like a 19 bag. Louis Vuitton is rumored to have a price increase next week of like 10 to 20%, which is crazy on all the canvas pieces. Now, there is one bag from Louis Vuitton that has been on my radar since, you know, I saw the sneak peeks from the Game On collection, and that is the heart shape bag. Now, if they, you know, I'm sure that once they do the price increase, they'll, you know, mysteriously release more of these heart shaped bags and they're going to be more expensive. Um, that's just what I think their strategy is. They're probably just going to release them after the price increase. And at that point, I don't know whether that bag is going to be worth it for me. I mean, it's very similar to the Boy Chapeau soup, which really on the resale market does does not hold its value as well. I have seen them for a lot cheaper than retail, so I feel like if I wanted that shape of a bag, I could just get the Boyce Chapeau soup. But at the same time, guys, it's a heart-shaped bag. So it's just, you know, as I say, you can't put a money, you can't put a price on cuteness, and I really love the heart-shaped bag. Um, but if it's gonna be like $3,500, guys, I would much rather put that money towards like a dream item from Chanel. I just think I already have a lot of like canvas pieces from Louis Vuitton, like my Nano Speedy, my Sac Plat, my um, Palm Springs Mini guys. So it's just a lot of brown monogram. I don't want to get too much brown monogram. So yeah, I'm going to try and have to resist the heart shape bag as much as I love it. Also, another piece that I absolutely love from Louis Vuitton is the Mini Boy Chapeau. Now, this is just so cute. I almost love it more than the heart shape bag. Um, I love the little look of the, the reverse one or the plain monogram one. Even the leather ones are really cool. I've seen a Verney one on the resale market for a really good price, like $2,000. But, oh, I don't know. I almost like the canvas one more, even though the retail of that is a lot more. But if they, if they increase it by 20%, I'm just out guys like I just can't deal anymore the, the mini boy chapeau is so cute but it does I mean it doesn't fit a phone it fits all the essentials but I, I just can't deal guys I'm gonna have to try and resist this one as well and finally guys there is gonna be a Prada bag that is the most cutest little bag um maybe coming to Australia I don't completely know but I believe in Dubai there was like a limited edition Prada 2000s re-edition bag covered in diamantes which they released only in Dubai and it was supposed to be a very limited release collection and when I saw pictures of this on Instagram I was like shook I was like oh my god I need that Prada bag I don't have any Prada bags but this really like spoke to me um there this kind of little re-edition bag is going to come out in pink black or white. I think the black one actually looks really good, but the pink one is, they're all really cute. I don't know. I like them all. I wouldn't say no to any of them. But guys, you know, it's little stuck on Swarovskis, little Diamantes, they fall off. So I would be really upset if they started balding these bags. And I'm pretty sure the price point of these is going to be like almost 3000 So yeah, I might have to resist this one as well, even if it does come to Australia. I have heard they're going to potentially release more in America or USA. And so if they release some in Australia, I will be tempted for sure. But I, I think a Diamante encrusted bag is something I almost feel like if I'm going to buy a Diamante encrusted bag, maybe go for the Alexander Wang version. It's a lot less money and it's I don't know just yeah it's more affordable and they go on sale so but the Prada one is really cool I really like the Prada re-edition bag as well so it's like killing two birds with, with one stone almost but I don't know guys I might have to resist it as well so guys I hope you enjoyed my video um they were the bags I'm going to try and have to resist this year if I'm going to buy one it's either going to be a classic flap or a 19 um so yeah, are you guys going to go on bag ban this year or are you going to go full blown out with the handbag buying? I mean, yeah, it's just an expensive hobby, I guess. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see you next time. Bye.